Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Skyrim. If you enjoy this video, please convince Joe Biden and Donald Trump to stop their political campaigns and instead use their platforms to aggressively promote my content, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Welcome legends, today we are not going to rest until we buy ourselves a house. Now it's been a red hot minute since I last played the game. I figure the best way to re-familiarize myself with the combat controls is to let loose on the residents of Riverwood. I do my best not to leave any witnesses because I don't want to get snitched on. I even take down this horrible ugly looking dwarf but then realize that's no dwarf, that's a child. Bethesda gave them invulnerability too which I guess makes sense because things could have gotten pretty dark there. You're lucky this time Dorf. I steal everything I can from the village and start the slow jog towards Whiterun. Using about 20 different mods, I managed to raise the graphical quality of this game from a 2 out of 10 to a 2.5 out of 10. You obviously don't play Bethesda games for their graphics, you play them for their committed, hardworking, inspiring, thick mod community. A white run guard then approaches me and says I've committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Wow, Doth really did me dirty like that. As soon as she turns 18, I'm going back to Riverwood with my longsword. I decide to take the jail time like a champ because every good hero has a backstory. Actually not the worst sell either, I've got a canvas bed and by the looks of it a mahogany shelf. Shame about the decomposing corpse but ebbs and flows. I've got one lockpick and therefore one opportunity to break free and I proceed to immediately fail my great escape. Now trapped for good, I serve my time. Prison changed me, but in a good way, as I'm now fully rehabilitated and ready to be a functioning member of this society. I guess locking someone away in a small gloomy cell with a bunch of murderers for a few years really does work. I feel like White Run would be a good place to set up a new life for myself. I meet this woman called Uthgard the Unbroken, and quite frankly she is not taking her safety seriously, as that armor is not suitable for battle or my Christian eyes. She bets me a hundred coins, she can beat me in a fist fight, and I take her offer. She also went on a tangent about female empowerment, so it's kind of ironic that we're now fighting for money whilst simultaneously entertaining the local men. Way to set us back 50 years, Uthgard. I win, and because of this she says she'll be my follower and guard me until the day she dies. That sounds like a pretty big commitment, I'm a bit of a lone wolf and so I take her out into the woods and kill the big girl. This turns into quite a profitable business venture, so it all worked out. Well at least it almost worked out. I apparently didn't go far enough into the woods and the guards saw me commit first degree murder. I obviously don't want to go back to prison so I instead choose to find a completely new city to call my home. I hit the road but get lost so decide to ask this giant for directions. He's honestly pretty rude and needs a tan. He tries to crush me and I feel like I just don't belong anywhere. I can't do anything right. I just want to be a young homeowner and occasionally commit homicide. I continue forward through these dangerous lands and I'm starting to think I may have used too many mods. This bandit literally had a takeaway coffee in his inventory. I make the stunning and brave decision to head for Morthal. It's quite a trek through some snowy mountains but fortunately I have a suitable winter outfit to take the chill off. The snow clears and I can't explain my disappointment as I'm not even sure you can call this place a city. If the word depression was a physical location, this would be it. How anticlimactic, but then a messenger runs up and delivers me a letter. It's from the Jarl of Whiterun, informing me that Uthgard the Unbroken is dead and has left me 300 gold pieces in her will. Jesus, I was her sole beneficiary. She really didn't see that murder in the woods coming. Obviously, I'm not going to live here. I want a real city like Solitude, which is just down the road. It's on a big cliff, it's got a windmill. What more could you want? This is my fresh start where I'm going to be a law-abiding citizen and I also throw on a more conservative dress so they can tell I'm a child of God. This may have been unnecessary because that is one thick reptilian babe. I never thought I'd say this, but I would hit that lizard raw. Feeling pretty optimistic and excited, I make my way to the main gates to begin a new chapter. The first thing I see seems to be a public execution and it's genuinely so nice to see that they have a strong community focus getting everyone out in the sun like this. I head over to find the palace so I can have a cool word with whoever's in charge. To earn their trust I need to go and clear out a bandit camp which I agree to do. I take a wrong turn and end up on top of a mountain but fortunately I'm pretty elite at scaling vertical icy cliffs in flat sole shoes. The bandits are in a cave and I decide I'm going to be a mage. I swear you can't say the word mage without regaining your virginity. 
And just kidding, never lost it, but for real, burning people alive is my new thing. I torch them all and then head back to the palace pretty exhausted. He thanks me and hands over 100 gold pieces. Are you serious, Fire Pubes? I got 300 for simply murdering a companion earlier. He then has the audacity to request I clear out another cursed cave, and I decline. I'm done here, these guys are a joke. I decide to see if I can bury the hatchet with the folks back at Whiterun. Plus I was wrong, this is clearly the superior settlement, look at all that fresh flowing water. The Jarl says if I can fetch him a Dragonstone, he'll owe me one. I always wondered what kind of sad person actually uses mods like this, and I guess me. I'm that person. It was for content, but still, kind of makes you question your morals. Don't you go tracking your dirty boots on my clean floor. I just got put in my place by a maid. I would torture her, but consequences. The Dragonstone is in an ancient tomb on top of this huge mountain. Being sent on a quest like this reminds me of the time I was on the Ellen DeGeneres show. My whole family was there, and Big Ellen asked me to pour them all a glass of juice, but little did I know the juice contained cyanide. So there I am, watching my family keel over while the studio audience laughed and danced. What a cheeky gal. I reach the tomb, and now it's time to find myself the stone. I'm also rapidly leveling up, which is a huge help, as I can't describe how little actual armor benefit this outfit has. Dud ass though. I'm then faced with the toughest opponent yet, a giant spider. Fortunately, I was really good at that game young infants play, where they have to put oddly shaped blocks in the right holes. As you can see, the spider is the wrong shape for this hole, so I melt him with ease. This guy Arvel the Swift, trapped in the web, begs me to save his life and says he'll help me find the stone. I mean, his name kind of implies that he's about to run away, and sure enough, he laughs at me and sprints off. This is making me question my roommate, Theo the Hidden Toilet Cam Expert. Nah, I'm sure he's fine. Just in case things couldn't get spookier, the undead start waking up, and quite frankly, I think I've spent enough time down here. I kill the undead overlord because I'm brave. Well, actually, I hide behind this tomb where he couldn't get me, but still, Dragonstone acquired. The Jarl is thankful, but there's a minor crisis happening at Whiterun. Apparently a dragon is tormenting the farmers and has destroyed the western watchtower. I just want to buy myself a house and raise a family, but apparently I'm going to have to kill a big scaly mama first. At least I've got some backup with me. NPCs that'll do one damage per hour, what more could you want? There she blows, and it's time to prove to the people of Whiterun that although I may be a serial killer, I'm also a killer of dragons. I don't see gender, race, or species. I'm a politically correct murderer. I wish there was a mod that could turn these dragons into pelicans, that would be way cooler and dare I say, help spread the good word of my channel. Someone once commented asking when I would start running out of intro ideas. Another person replied to them saying it would be when I started asking you guys for suggestions and running it as some sort of competition. I'm happy to announce the competition starts today. Leave your best intro ideas in the comments and the winner gets public recognition, aka exposure, which is debatably much better than money. You can buy many houses with recognition. Alright, so I've admittedly been cheap shotting this fiery malacca, but I ensure the final blow is from my sword for cinematic purposes. I then absorb its soul, it's pretty deep. I'm a dragonborn, which means the gods of fire have given me special permission to go dragon these balls across your mama's face. That's a pretty terrible joke, but it's also timeless. I go and talk to the Jarl, completely invading his personal space with my bosoms. He says I can buy property here now, and it'll cost me 5,000 gold pieces. I have 1,700 gold pieces. I promised you a house, and that's what you're going to get. I proceed to sell all of my belongings, but it doesn't even get me close. I head out into the world and begin fighting anything and everything I can find. This game just reminds me of high school. I remember when it released, the girl I was seeing asked why I never wanted to talk on the phone to her anymore, and I had to explain it was because I was a level 63 night elf who had joined the Stormcloak Rebellion to bring independence to the magical world of Skyrim. She said it was pretty lame, but she said she didn't care I was a nerd. I still broke up with her though because it was no simp September. Anyway, I no joke even mine a bit so I can sell the oars and eventually I raise the $5,000 needed and buy myself a new home. The Jarl even gives me a bodyguard called Lydia who may genuinely be thicker than me. This is my place and to my absolute disgust, I've been completely debated. The place is disgusting, they've even taken the damn stove. 
I head back to have a cool word and to upgrade my home and he has the nerve to ask for more money. They pushed me a little too far this time, Chief, and so I do what I do best. Absolutely unwarranted violence. Thanks for the support on both this channel and Papa Pelly, you absolute legends. I just uploaded a GTA Live Moments on Papa Pelly, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe and drink water, it helps me out a lot. A massive thanks to my patrons, until next time, and as always, stay classy.